Okay, now I'm going to be tying an EP brush fly. This fly can be tied in a number of different color combinations with the different brushes that they have. Um, I'm using a Gamakatsu SL12 hook, uh, size 2. It's a little bit sturdier. Um, we're going to start off with some Flycraft fur. And we're cutting it again. Remember how we cut it before? Cut a section off like this. And we're going to cut another section off to create a little bit of a tail from this. Um, we're going to cull out the under fur, the shorter fibers like that, so it's not creating so much bulk. And you notice we have a very long area here, we're going to take some of those longer fibers, I'm going to grab them, pull them out, and then we're going to incorporate them and make them a little bit shorter. Okay, so we have a little bit more even taper to this fly. Alright, so those are a little bit too long, we're going to get rid of those. Alright, so this tail is going to be about two lengths of the hook, so one, two, so I'm going to clamp it off right there. Good. Okay, and we're going to use a white thread. White thread, we're going to start off right on the hook shank. Pull it back to there. Cut that off, and then we're going to tie this down. Okay, so this is our tail. A little bit of spit holds everything together, which is nice. I go around the tail a couple of times just to kind of keep it together a little bit more consistent. So it's coming right off the back there. Next thing that I'm going to wrap around is an EP craft uh, fur brush. So it's got some UV, uh, UV in there, UV material in there. You can see it sparkling. So like I said, this fly can be tied in the white. It can be tied in black, black and purple. It can be tied in kind of a natural color with copper. You can tie it in also tan as well. So tan and the natural colors can be good for backwater fishing and um, uh, white is good for snook on the beach. So this is a new brush. I'm going to trim off the very front part of that wire because it's a little bit long. We're going to tie in the wire right here in the back like so. Then I'm going to come on up. I'm going to tie in my eyes. So I'm going to make create a little bump right here. Then I'm going to come over. A little bump right here. And then come up a little bit in front of that. Create a little bump right here. And in between that bump, we're going to put in the, the uh, eyes. The eyes are a small bead chain eye. So kind of do a figure eight around that, get it to where I want it to be, and then I lock it down with a little bit of super glue on a brush. So super glue, super glue. So that's there, and then we're going to lock it down even more. One, two, three across that way. One, two, three across that way. Then we go underneath three times. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then underneath. Oh, one, two, and that's pretty good. So we're going to come back to about here. I'm going to do a half hitch to lock down the thread so I can bring over my bobbin cradle. I'm going to move this over to the bobbin cradle. I'm going to wipe off the super glue a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to palmer this uh, hair back. I'm going to make sure we're going to brush all of the hairs towards the back part of the fly, like so. So I'm holding the wire and I'm brushing all of this back. We're going to use this vise, which is a rotating vise. Um, come around. One, two, three, four. And I'll do it to right about where the, uh, where the tip of the hook is, the point of the hook. So that's about five or six wraps. So we'll do one more wrap there, and we're right there at the point of the hook. I'm going to separate out these fibers like that. I'm going to come back. We're going to lock down this wire here. One turn. Do some more turns with the vise. 
since we have a rotating vise, we are going to take advantage of that. Clip off the wire with wire cutters. Don't use your scissors, of course. And there's a little bit of a wire right here. If you can see, you want to fold that back so it doesn't cut your thread and kind of cover it up with your thread. If you leave that wire exposed, it can cut monofilament, it can cut your thread while you're tying. It can be a little bit of a pain, so we want to cover that up as best as we can. So we are doing that right now. Good. Okay, so I'm going to come on up and we are going to use a knit brush. This is actually used for combing knits out of hair. Uh, when your kids get lice, but one of the nice things is these bristles are nice and stiff and You can comb through this Fiber really easily notice how I'm like pulling it through Even the fibers that might have gotten underneath So this knit brush works really well at pulling the fibers through just like that Okay, and we're gonna pull everything back everything looks good again a little bit of spit Kind of help hold everything down. We're gonna come back to our tie in point here. And we're gonna use another brush. This time, this brush is a white brush. Here's the other uh, brush. So you see it's got some silver in there and some white. And these are EP Enrico Puglisi brushes. Since this one's also new, I'm gonna trim off the wire a little bit. So I don't have all that excess wire. We're going to go ahead and tie this in. Okay, right here. I'm going to come on up in front of the, right at the hook eye. I'm going to bring my thread holder here. And we're going to pull these fibers back. See how I'm pulling them back? Just like that. And I'm going to keep my finger there so it can keep all the fibers back as well. So we're going to spin until we get to the, the eyes of the fly that we have just tied in. So I'm going to keep spinning, keep spinning, keep spinning. There we go. And one more turn. So that's one of the advantages to having a rotating vise. Um, you can turn things around. So I'm going to go behind the hook eye. And I'm going to come around and tie that down. So we're going to go one more, two, three. Okay, good. And then I'm going to trim off this wire again. And there's always a little bit of wire left. I'm going to mash that down. And we're going to cover that over so it doesn't cut anything, namely your fly, fly line or your leader. All right, good. And then we're going to wrap it up to the front. Turn that over. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to do one half hitch. Good, and then we're going to tie this down one, two, three, and one, two, three. And again, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and cut that. I'm going to again use my UV clear finish. This is the thin one. And we're going to put that on the threads. Kind of lock that down do it quickly. Okay, and then we're going to use the UV Cure Light, which is, and then we cure it with a UV light, only takes a few seconds, all over, brush the hairs back, good, and then I'll put a little bit of gel coat on it, again, gel coat, and that's in, available from the nail supply store. I put that on to kind of lock down the eyes a little bit better. So that that goes like that. Good. 
Then we'll do the UV cure again. Okay, good. If you can see, I got a little bit of the UV cure on a fiber there. The best thing to do is to let that dry, and then you can just pull it off easily. So, okay. All right. So that's all cured. See how I pulled that strand off easily. And the next thing we want to do, we want to trim this fly. We're going to use our knit brush again. I'm going to go ahead and comb through it. Bring out all the fibers like that. So we don't want all this fiber to be like this. On the top of the fly, I actually like to trim it flat. It helps it to ride a little bit more hook up less snags and then on the sides we want to kind of trim it at an angle like this to give it more of a profile type pattern so I'm trimming it at an angle like that and then same thing underneath to give it more of a profile type pattern okay I'm going to trim it a little bit more like this give it that kind of shape a little bit more spit. We'll see how that looks. How all the fibers look kind of coming back. Looks pretty good. We're going to just trim. That probably makes no difference to the fish, but it makes more of a difference to me. So, okay. Good. And that's your finished fly. Okay, this is another white step fly. Like I said, it can be tied in several different fashions and colors.